What's up guys, Phil here. Just finished up with the match out here in Blue Ridge, hosted uh, title sponsor of Short Action Customs. Match director was Sean Johnson. It is April 21st, 2024. And I just wanna walk you through a real quick rifle setup slash pack dump of what I brought for this match. So the rifle that I'm using is my Short Action Customs built 6.5 by 47. I'm running 140 ELDMs. I've got a trigger cam, Collis K525i and a Spur 4001. Running a Lone Peak Action Proof uh, 26 inch stainless steel competition contour barrel. We've got a Thunder Beast Dominus. Love this can. It's my first time actually running a two day national level match with a can and I absolutely loved it. Uh, running the MDT Sky Pods PRS, but I did swap uh, with guys in the squad uh, for double pulls and I've got the Gray Ops external weight kits by Dave Preston and running flatline level ops Halo X's as well as the uh, five by five precision crush it timer here on the side and then the KRG two round um, holder. So that's the rifle setup in itself. My optic setup, I've got my really right stuff, 22i, love this tripod for matches especially with this match being very super tripod heavy or tripod rear heavy. It's got the Anvil 30 on top and then I've got a uh, really right stuff cinema bar rail. I've got my phone attachment, the Terrapin X and NL Piers for my tripod setup and my observer setup. What else is in my pack? I've got a, another tripod. This was mainly used for the camera that I've, I've set up right now, but this is just a pretty much uh, really right stuff. Uh, 1.4 tripod with the Anvil 30 and inside of it I've got Kestrel 5700. I've got STR80 from Swarovski. I used this a couple times for those further distances. It's got a mil scope in there. This pack that's housing everything is a Stone Glacier Approach 2800. This, this has been my go-to pack now for a couple years. I love it just because of the, again, the spotter pouch. I bring this spotter with me for most of my matches because it's nice to always, you know, be able to see those further targets, especially with a lot of barrage. Inside the pack, I've got Raven Wrap. This is all my data information, extra, um, extra note, note taking gear, cards and stuff like that. This is a sun shirt in the case that it did get hot. I actually had to use it yesterday, uh, but not today because it stayed pretty, pretty cool out. My favorite game changer for prone, this is the OG game changer with Git Light, right, by Armageddon Gear. I've got three Tab Gear uh, holders. This holds 40 rounds a piece. And uh, this is where I keep my match ammunition. And then in the very bottom of the pack, I've got uh, a medium game changer, heavy fill. And Got snacks, extra batteries that have been used, thank God, in a small pouch. And then in this, I've got a battery charger and a cable for the trigger cam, a little duster, and got uh, this has but a bunch of extra spare batteries for the camera and for optics and whatnot. And this is for, uh, in the case that it did rain, and then just more snacks that are now consumed. So um, the only thing I did not have that I wish I would have had in this pack uh, is honestly because of how dusty it was, is probably a little paintbrush um, and as well as a better protector for the rifle because it was dusty out here. And then, you know, inside of the actual truck, I've got things like cleaning gear, extra uh, pin, but what actually stays on my uh, pack as I'm going from stage to stage is everything that I just mentioned here. So one thing I did for to get to talk about was my belt. I've got uh, a Ronin Tactics belt here. I've got three magazines. I'm running AW mags uh, with the uh, G Cold Scorpion holster. Uh, these are really great magazine holsters for AICS style mags as well. But for these AW mags shorter, I just put spacers that keep it. The only thing is that they don't secure very well. On this side, I've got a third rep magazine holder made by Short Action Precision. This is nice and uh, adaptable and modular. And then I've got a FHF pouch here that held nicely for my Terrapin X when I needed to. Then I've got a dump pouch here. So 
This Velcro is on my main belt, and it's just nice to have extra magazines in the case I need to do a reload uh, mid-stage or just house all my ammunition on my body, so. All right, guys, I was editing this video and I wanted to point out or just let you know I missed two critical things to talk about. And that was number one, the chassis that I'm using, which is a KRG Kinetic Research Group C4 chassis. It's their flagship competition chassis. I've been using this now for just about two years and it is painted in a bumblebee theme to represent my daughter's favorite color. And it was painted by those guys over there at Redbeard Gunworks. They do a fantastic job, highly recommend their service. And also I didn't mention it, but I'm running a Trigger Tech two-stage trigger inside this rifle. Another piece of equipment that was super critical to my success at this match was the Garmin Fortrex 901. I've been using this for just about under a year now. I got it June of last year and it has been awesome. This is my first time using it as a dedicated firing solution for uh, a two-day national PRS match. I've used it at an NRL Hunter when I shot with uh, Ryan Diagostino last June, and it's been great, especially with me bouncing between rifles. I'm gonna give you guys a full review on this Bad Larry, uh, hopefully soon, hopefully this year, and I'll walk you guys through my workflow. This is not the time and place for the review. I just wanna let you know that I've been super impressed with this device. So if you're in the market, I highly recommend it. But I'll give my overall thoughts in a separate video. Okay guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Nothing too crazy or flashy with a bunch of edits. I just wanted to get some information out to you guys with what was in my pack for a two day national level match. In the case that you guys are looking to uh, shoot a two day, your first two day, or maybe a one day in that same area. So one thing to keep in mind is that my gear list is going to fluctuate based off of the location that I'm shooting, as well as the time of year that I'm gonna be shooting. So I'm gonna to try to do the best I can to make sure I do these pack dumps or what's in my pack for every venue that I shoot at to give you guys information on how to be successful or maybe ideas for when you guys are do packing your gear list for uh, your uh, competition or your, you know, match. So let me know what you guys think. Drop your comments down below. And remember, you have control.